up you guys it's great to see you myers in the chat we got wisco al good to see you man i'm hoping that this works this good time. to see you hopefully hopefully we got timo 3004 saying good job i can't see you oh, though it's coming up oh commercial after this commercial after this commercial <laughs> oh my gosh after this commercial break uh, well, <laughs> cool so they guys can see it's us. great to see you really is Yay, great to see you guys we missed you guys why aren't you guys all at the world series of poker i'm very upset that you guys are not all here magnificent thing this bump so today went pretty good you guys it went pretty good we went we made it through to day two very first event and uh oh my gosh it's so refreshing playing a game where just just better pre-flop hand selection is going to get you through I mean that's that's what Omaha High Low really is all about is not getting out of line and playing aggressively tight 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 and aggressive if your hand doesn't have an ace in it it's not worth playing if you have like an ace five six nine you know early position it's not worth playing it all these guys are just like they think that they have you know they, they think that since they have double the cards they get to play double as many hands but that is just not the way it works Oh man, how many left going into day two? Asks Myers. Um, not sure. Let me, let me I think check it was that out. And, um, uh, 390 something. Let me look in the uh, WSP.com updates, and then uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get uh, we'll get our, our uh, the, the uh, seat assignments, and I'll be able to see how like who I'm playing against tomorrow. Yeah, we um, the restarts at two. Yeah, home fry. Great to see you, man. Adam V twenty three. Good to see you too, man. Uh, great to see you guys. We missed you guys. Yes, we did. JD Cole. It's good to see you, man. Great job getting back up and moving into day two. We met a couple of uh, we met a couple of Twitchers today. We did. We met uh, fellow few, uh, subs. Yeah. The crew, fellow crew members. Fellow crew members. We saw uh, Rob K. Rob K. We saw uh, Airball. We saw Decker seven one one. PLO Junkie. PLO Junkie. We saw Flatty. Flatty did good. He won a satellite. Yep. He, well, we saw Doc first... Hippocampus. Yes, I don't remember that name. But we, we saw see. Joe Kozlowski. Yes. Gosh, you good And Sanity. Sanity! Yes, yeah. Sanity. Good luck on the magic. And it is awesome meeting you guys in person. It really is. Uh, if any of you guys are here in Vegas... Yeah, John, you guys just come up and say yeah, hi. Yeah, don't be shy at all. Oh, and Jay Barnett. Jay Barnett. Jay Barnett. So it was a... Uh, and Marsupial. Marsupial. Yeah, we yeah. had a lot of people today. We did, yeah. It was I tried awesome. To get, I tried to get as many pictures as I could of everyone. So we and do Decker. have a lot of pictures. Did you, so did you say, mention Decker? Yep, Decker711. Yes, so, yeah, um, I try to take pictures. And if you guys want to see, if, if you guys did see us, I'm going to put the pictures on Dutch's Facebook page. Yep. There. Um, I guess I'll rename the album into, to, like, the crew or some or crew, Dutch crew. Yep. And look, Big Lebowski I'll, I'll is it. 50 minutes away. He's he's driving into Vegas oh, right wow. now, chilling out on the Twitch. Why is he? Why is he on the Twitch? <laughs> Pocket Pro Tractor, great to see you, man. Thank you very much for being here. We got Ghoster 013 saying so stoked for you, Dutch. I'm stoked for us too, Ghoster. I think this is gonna be number four. My very very first non-holden bracelet. I'm I'm sitting there. I'm focused. Be really amazing. Uh, you know, I feel like everything went wrong today. Everything went wrong today, but we still finished up with with twice as many as we started with. And it's just because we're not getting out of line. We're making the laydowns. We're making the tough calls. There was one really, really tough call I made that was just, just so pure. I looked at the guy, and I'm like, wow, he has complete air. And I call him, and he's like, I got nothing. I got, I got a very, very small pair to turn it over. Mason Jersey, yay. it's good to see you, man. Iceman Kiwi in the house. We've got Madriv. He says, hi, you sexy people, you. <laughs> and the Grand Prix <laughs> is everybody. also in town, which is pretty cool. The Magic the Gathering oh, Grand also, Prix. Yeah, and I want to mention that they they are, they are did sell out the, the two morning for the Colossus. They sold out two morning flights, the, the two morning flights. But there's going to the be two all. morning flights are sold out, the 10 a.m. Yes. flights or the? The, the morning ones, okay. yes. Not the and James are bear. It's great to see you, James. Ah, you guys are the best. We've got A Austin 10. How many people are left? Let's find out. Let's find out, A Austin 10. And I nuke your mom. It's great to see you, man. Now, you know what? It's so good to start the World Series by making a day two. I feel like, I feel like, you know, all we've been doing is eating, breathing, sleeping, dreaming, streaming poker for the last two months. And it's to get us ready for the World Series. And to, to just go in and you know slide on through to a day two, 
uh, makes it makes it feel like we're on the right track. It's gonna be a good summer, so, you guys. So dirty it's biscuits. It wasn't summer. actually a cupcake. It was a cake, a piece of cake. I did eat a piece of cake. <laughs> he asked me if I brought you a cupcake, and I was like, no. I, so let's I see. Ate they it. say. I ate the cupcake. Are you dropping Frank? I no, I hope not. No, okay, that's no just, drop that's frames. I don't know why. And RT Kabuto, it's great to see you, man. It's great to see you. Basher253 says, realize I've become a massive Dutch fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> Basher, it's great to see you, man. We We've got uh, 373 players left in, uh, in tomorrow's field. It looks like Tony Ma is leading the field with 57,800. Taylor Power in second with 56,000. Wow, Taylor Power, what a beast. What a beast. Johnny Monette, our friend Johnny. He's in. Is, so. you know, he looks like he has a top 20 stack. Oh, nice. Johnny Monette. Um, he, he, he ditched us for uh, lunch today. Yeah, dinner. yeah. We were yeah. supposed to meet him for lunch, and then instead he just, like, no-showed. No. He, he, so he rude. Met, he met somebody. He, he, he saw somebody <laughs> that he, he had seen for a long time. Jeff Shulman, so, making it okay. deep. Uh, top 20 stack. We got Alan Cunningham still in. Bart Hansen still in from CrushLivePoker.com. Gabriel Nassif. Still in. I made a final table with Gabriel a few uh, the, the last year when I made my bracelet. I think I think he was the Frenchman at the table. John Cernudo, Robbins Rocky, Maria Ho is still in. Brandon Cantu. Oh my gosh, I love Brandon. Aww. And and there I am. It has me listed as twenty eighth. Safari. But there's no way we're in twenty eighth. They're just like listing uh, listing the known pros. Names. And guys, wow. Scotty Clements has 11,200. So we finished the day with more chips than the greatest Omaha high low player alive. I feel pretty good about that. So uh, Safari so Joe said that. his uh, his son thinks that I'm sweet. <laughs> yeah, we met uh, we Hippo. met Safari Joe's son yes. who is uh, Doc Hippocampus. And uh, Safari Joe, you are locked in. Yes. So uh, no more shares though, guys. I'm sorry, but everybody, it's it's all booked. It's all booked. So uh, if you're not on the Tasty Steaks package, uh, there's just there's nothing left. And honestly, I hope that a few yeah, of you guys wake out with the money because I want a little bit more. I would I would ideally have about have yeah, about ten of you guys flake out, and I'm I'm getting to to play for more. But I feel like you know the whole reason we're playing that event is for the Twitch sweat, and I want you guys to have a Twitch sweat. Yeah. So it's gonna be fun. But um, hopefully in the future, when there's other tournaments that come into in Vegas, you can get you can you can yeah. probably uh, sell pieces that way, like the Win Classic and things like that. Yeah, James DeBear, if I make the final table of uh, of the Omaha High Low, and I don't finish it out before 6 p.m. on Saturday, I'm not going to be able to uh, play the Colossus. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's going to be so many people. Because there's oh going to be, gosh, the lines are huge. you know, a, a one, maybe 2,000 chance of winning a bracelet in the Colossus. And right now, I feel like we got a one in 300 chance. See, even so if I, I just want to say that even if I did want to play, I wouldn't because yeah. of the line. <laughs> and home fry saying, chili dog, when you make the final table? Ridiculous line. I think so, yeah. I think a little chili dog is in order. Chili dog pizza. Yeah, El Guapo. And it's great a to see you, man. <laughs> and a yeah. cherry coat. No, you should do all the junk food after the series, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe. Drunken Gamer says, uh, "Hey, you Dutch in chat. It's great to see you in the uh, chat, Drunken Gamer." Dirty Bizkit. Dirty Thank biz you very much for coming by and saying hi. I really appreciate it, man. We got 04 Lightning fan. I see Brandon Cantu, a bracelet winner in 08, is also still alive. Oh, is Brandon there? Yes, he is. I didn't see Brandon. I didn't see him all day today, Aww. and I'm surprised that I didn't at least hear him. Yeah, that's weird. He yeah. usually comes up and says hello. Yep. So, oh, uh, I did get some cool pictures of James Woods, everyone. Yep, that was pretty cool. So I was like a creeper. We had uh, we had some pictures of Jay Carver. Yes, Jay Carver was, awesome. was heads up with Kathy yeah. Liebert before yeah. we left. Yeah, I always keep on getting him in weird spots because I, I, I took pictures mm -hmm. of him in the 5K, and he was he was chips. He had low chips, so I didn't say hi. Yeah. But, yeah, and then he looked like, I didn't see how many chips he, uh, how he was doing in the heads up. Did you see how he was doing? I but mean, he, he was far away. You're so talking about see. Somerville or Woods? Somerville. Somerville was heads up with Kathy Lieber. Did you see And how many I didn't see how many chips. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. He's going to either win it or lose it. Yeah, it's and, a shootout. And he's up against, you know, one of the top five female poker players of all time. I mean, like, honestly... I don't know who's the favorite there, because Kathy has game. She's really good, you guys. But, uh, I mean, it's Jay Carver. How can you bet against Jay Carver? That's right. I don't know. 
And uh, Ed's Woods Seven says, "Was that the came. James Woods, the actor that went out first? Uh, James Woods was was heads up for his shootout. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. He's he is the actor James. Future Woods. Governor saying he won that heads up. Who are you talking about, Future Governor? Are you talking about James Woods or Jason Somerville? Did he win? It sounds like one of them won the heads up. Oh, cool. I think won uh, their, won their well, shootout. I don't know. Yeah, because we're talking about both of them. Yeah, which one did? Yeah. And Jay Barnett eight. It was great to see you too. We met Jay Barnett. It was oh, awesome. He won. It was awesome. Cool. She said that she she eighteen says that Jason Somerville won. Good. Wow. Awesome. Nice job, Jay Carver. This bum. Congratulations. See, we should have stuck around. It, we, we we ran out of there as soon as we could. Yeah. And guys, I don't know if you noticed. Got a new little patch going on today. I am now officially a member of Blue Shark Optics. Nice. I am part of the Blue Shark Brigade. So uh, hopefully we're gonna have uh, some pretty cool sunglasses to to uh, promote. Um, I'm going to have to talk to Carrie, the guy who runs it, and actually get uh, a, a special edition because I tried the Jonathan Little sunglasses on and they're just... They're just too... My head's too big. Yeah, Dutch I have way too big, big of a head. I have this brain. enormous... If you guys have ever met me, my, my head is way too big for my body. And so uh, I, I, need, I need the custom. I need the custom aviators. Frau Grace, it's good to see you. Guten Morgen, Frau Grace. Guten We've got... Uh, she said she's 18... James James Woods won as well. Yeah, he thinks. That's what I just said. Yep, I, I think they just. How's the comic book? Um, I, I started. Have you read it. it? I started the first pages of it, and um, Miss, uh, uh, Michael Matazow is it turns is the first zombie. I shouldn't spoil though. I don't really know what's gonna happen, <laughs> but I gotta find out who the pros are so I can go and uh, ask them to sign it. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. I'm a little bit disappointed that uh, Chad Holloway didn't put me in. Even if it was like, we don't know. I even mean, if it was look. like the very Maybe first like scene, a, like Dutch Boyd gets his head like well, that's what happened to just destroyed, just, you know? He just got turned into a zombie like right away. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But oh, I forgot my I forgot my comic book at the um. Tomorrow we got to get people to sign it. Yeah, we Could will. You do, can you do that? I don't want to go ask. No. Yes, I can. can I'll, I'll get people to sign it. God oh, like damn it's Bob. It's great to see you, man. This bump to you. It's great to see you. Okay, guys, you know what I feel like doing? I feel like uh, looking at the updates no of Omaha High Low, seeing if there's, uh, seeing if uh, 373, uh, eventually they're gonna put the actual like day two seating, uh, seat assignments up. And when it is, I wanna see who all, who all I have on my table. Hopefully, usually it's Kev Math who puts those up on Twitter. And Kevmath, one of our one of our supporters, one of our crew, he's uh, he he subbed uh, during the V Rob. He said, "I didn't sub for you, Dutch. I subbed for V Rob, but he stayed for us." So, <laughs> love Kev, love Kevmath. He is always uh, he's always he's definitely like always there for the players. So uh, yeah. So the nice thing about the a nice thing about the Colossus is if you don't show up, then they automatically refund you. So I don't have to worry about like unregistering for any of these flights that I'm gonna have to miss when I make the final table in this Omaha High Low. So you don't even have to. You don't Gosh, have to. You guys. I mean, you don't even have to. Like, how long do they give you? Let's look at this prize pool, shall we? What are we playing for? What are we playing for? Uh, Dirty Biscuit says, Dutch, did you do the fantasy draft? I didn't. I also didn't get drafted. So we don't so do fantasy So as soon drafts. as I win this event, there's going to be a lot of sorry drafters. <laughs> First place is a quarter of a million dollars. 251022 and the bracelet. You know, you can't win three bracelets in the summer if you don't win the first one. That's right. And I, I love my chances if I can just take this down, you guys. Z A S D F Unreal. This is not poker. We're just doing the W S O P uh, the W S O P wind up. But I am thinking I'm, I might go ahead and play this, uh, uh, finish this little Hearthstone arena, just kind of blow off some steam until uh, until um, until the seat assignments come out. Okay, so J James Wiz is still playing. He has 92k and. Uh, to 28k. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see, and it says, so far, Joe says that Chad may do a sequel. That, that looks good. I would like to see a sequel. I haven't read it yet, but I will. 
Well, I took pictures of the real James Wood for Lightning fans, so <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm posting. I'm looking at them right now to post them. I'm looking at all. I, I, I took like a hundred pictures, so I have like like 50, like 20 pictures of James Woods. I gotta find the best one. The the digital digital camera. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Going through the pictures. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to figure out where the best place to get uh, to get the redraws are. Any of you guys have a uh, have an idea where the best place to get redraws is for for day twos? Not sure. I'm gonna actually have to probably ask the Twitterverse. Master Paps, that's another one. I forgot. I forgot. We I actually met Billy Paps for oh, the first time today, and it was Aww. awesome. It was awesome. I didn't get to. I felt like we've no, been I'm like like, like long time friends, Billy. It was really cool seeing you there, and good is, luck in the uh, is, Colossus. Is he playing? Is, was he playing the, the Omaha? No, he was just uh, at just, the Rio, just chilling chillin out. I think he's playing. I think his first event is tomorrow. The Colossus. Yeah. Ooh. Is that right, Pappas? Is, I think it is. Master Pappas. Master Paps in the house. It's great to see you, man. Uh, so I'm gonna try to figure out where the best place is. RJM for you says, Dutch, would you anticipate a lot of limping early in the Colossus due to the short starting stack, and would limping still be a sign of weakness? So RJM for you, I don't really feel like the Colossus stack is really that short. I don't really feel like it's that short. I mean, aren't they starting with like five thousand? It's not that short. You know, I mean, short is twelve big blinds. I don't really think that. Um, and, and and no. I, I, I wouldn't anticipate a lot of limping because of the uh, the short stack. I would anticipate a lot of limping because there's going to be a lot of really bad players. So uh, plan accordingly. And yes, bad players are going to limp with weaker hands. You know they're not going to they're not going to get tricky. They're going to look down at aces and feel like oh I'm supposed to raise with this. But they're going to look down at the queen five offsuit and think let's see a flop. That's what's going to happen tomorrow. It's going to be a zoo. It's going to be zoo. It's going to end. Uh, I wish you all the best of luck if you're playing that Colossus. Oh my gosh. Uh, Master Pap says, a foosball buddy of mine was at your table, actually. Who who was it? Who was it? I'm trying to think. Uh, it was a, there was a guy from Vancouver. Oh, it was probably Ron. If you're talking about Ron, um, Billy Pappas, um, Ron is actually kind of a buddy of mine, too. Um, him and I were both props back at Garden City in 2002. So I've known Ron for 13 years, though it's not like we're like super, super tight. But uh, I didn't notice that he came up and said hi to you, and I assume that's probably the same one. Um, oh, he plays football. Man. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, Ron. Is, Ron was a uh, was a prop Ron when I was like 21 will. years old. He knew me like way, way, way back. 2002. I had never even played a World Series event. I came out, or I played one World Series of poker event uh, at 1500 limit. Uh, yeah. There's, P there's PLO Junkie. Hey! It's good to know. Good to it's, see you. It, hey, PLO Junkie. It's great to see you, man. Great to see you, Garrett. And uh, I play the poker. It says, I heard there was a fifth flight added to Colossus. You know if that's true? Oh, I don't know if that's true. I just know that they, um, I'm not sure. they sold out the first mornings. I'm not sure. It's possible. It'd be nice. I mean, it'd be really nice. I'm going to go to the Twitterverse and ask Kev Math. Uh, you still posting day two redraws? Want to check out who I have to fade in tomorrow's, uh, in, in tomorrow's Omaha High Low? Okay, guys. You know what? Let's go ahead and... Uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just kind of chill out with you guys, and wait until this uh, day two happens. If any of you guys have any like cans you want to go over, if you want to hear about uh, how my day went, it was, uh, it was basically, you know, it was basically just a matter of playing good hands and, and taking advantage of guys who played every hand in Omaha High Low. The way it works in Omaha High Low, especially Limit Omaha High Low, is you're just not going to be able to play the same way that you do with No Limit. It's so much more dependent on being able to win showdowns. Uh, you know, you look, we look at we look at our hand histories in No Limit Hold'em tournaments all the time, and we see over and over, you know, no showdown, no showdown, no showdown, no showdown, and then a showdown, and then like 
less than 20% of hands, in my opinion, in No Limit Hold'em tournaments actually go to the showdown, which means that 80% don't. Four out of five times, you don't actually have to turn over your hand if you win a pot. So, uh, man, that is not the way Omaha High Low Limit goes. In Omaha High Low Limit, you are going to have to turn over your hand, and you're going to have to turn over the best hand, and it sucks because you're so, you know, you're, you are a slave to your cards in these limit events. But So it's really just important to save bets when you're behind and get max value when you're ahead. I made some mistakes today. No one plays perfect. I made some mistakes today, but for the most part, I played pretty good. I didn't get out of line. Um, there was one hand where I raised pre-flop um, where it was just complete bullshit because I was focused on one player that I had a pretty strong read on. Uh, and there were a couple of other times when I three bet when I really shouldn't have because there was a really tight guy who had never turned over anything except ace deuce or uh, you know ace ace four was like the weakest hand he showed up to. You know, the party with pre-flop. So uh, there was one time when I three bet him with uh, an ace, three, five, like king, single suited, where honestly against that player, I could have just let it go. I didn't even have to see him flop with that. People think that because you have twice as many cards, you get to see twice as many hands, but it's actually the opposite. You have to keep your VPIP so, so super low in Omaha High Low, because really, if, if you don't have... If you don't have ace deuce or ace three or a pair of aces or i mean the worst that you like it's just usually not worth playing uh unless there's a decent chance where you might be able to get it heads up uh against one of the blinds with the pre-flop aggression but that just doesn't happen a lot in limit omaha high low especially on day one hey um did ron did ron end up bagging uh yeah yeah, Ron awesome. ended up bad. bad and uh, to see Chan, what's hey, good to see you. He asked how you do you go. Great to see you, McKinley. And P PLO Junkie says we were very cool today. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, PLO Junkie. And, it was um, uh, it was awesome I actually guess... meeting you face to face and putting a face to a name. I love meeting all of you guys. You guys are the best. Um, Archie Kabuto asks asks. Um, he said they only um reported one hand in WSOP, and he asks, was that the actual hand that they posted about when you muttered to yourself when the river when they rivered a full house or something? I'm not sure. You should read it. R.T. Kabuto? Yeah, let me I take don't know. A look. I didn't read it either. We let me should... take a look. How were the rookie dealers? <laughs> you know what? Actually, uh, they were not the, they were not in Omaha really High Low. I'm sure that they there are a they're lot of rookie no dealers, yeah. but uh, they're not. They weren't in the Omaha High Low. Pretty much every dealer that we had was a returning dealer from last year and the year before. I mean, I, I recognized so many dealers today, where I mean, these guys knew what they were doing. Let me take a look at the updates here and see see where we've got Boyd. Yeah, here we go. Boyd takes a hit. Oh, Ooh, ow, that's, a, that's, that's a brutal bad. update. This what is at 12.05 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, that's a player in early position raises, oh, and bad. Dutch Boyd three bets from the small blind. The big blind calls along with the original raiser. Yeah, the dealer puts out a 9 deuce 10. And what did I have? I had an ace, ace, three, five, double suited this hand. Uh, and they went, uh, they, they have the update wrong. No, 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 this is right. So under the gun raised, I three bet right next to him. This is right, this is right. I was in the small blind, come to think of it. So it goes raise. I re-raise, the big blind calls. Who was the big blind there? I think it was uh, this guy named Joe, Joe something. I tweeted his name, he's a musician from LA who gets stoned and sings reggae. And he's like this old white guy. Uh, he was stoned at the table, I could smell it. And he played like he was stoned. He <laughs> played like an old stoned reggae singer. Uh, Jay Ruffer, great to see you man. Really good to see you in the stream. Big Doc 2000 says a player in early position raises. Yeah, so here he, here it is. So I had ace ace three five double suited. It comes nine ten deuce, and then the turn is a nine, and the river was a four, and. You know, like I, I fired out on the flop, 
and then I bet out on the turn and he raised, and that's when I should have let it go. But I was like, surely this guy doesn't have a 9, I mean, he raised pre-flop, and I mean, he's not supposed to have a 9 in his hand, right? He's, he's not supposed to have a 9, that doesn't make sense. So maybe he's raising with an overpair thinking it's good. Maybe he has something like an ace, king, king, three. Or, hell, we could have the same hand. We could both have a pair of aces. Um, so I called, the river was a four, and I checked to him, and he just fired out another bet. And this is one of those situations where I could have saved myself 2,400. If I would have just fired out, I mean, it's okay to fire out the bet on the, on the, on the turn. But when I get raised by this guy, I should have known that he just did not have a move in him. He had a full house, uh, you know, trip nine's minimum. And, uh... You were in love. Would you have... Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was pretty brutal. I, I don't know what... Yeah, Joe Aranesti is the guy that, uh... I, I guess he has, like, some sort of SoundCloud reggae song that he was talking about. <laughs> this is the best kind. Looks like I gotta relaunch this Hearthstone now. Oh, they kicked out. What did I mutter to myself? He said. I muttered. I wish Michelle was here. I muttered. God, why don't I? Why can't I find a fold? Gosh, I'm such an idiot for calling this guy. It said of that you muttered. Of course he has a nine. Of course he has a fucking nine. You muttered. Yeah. I oh, was that's like, a tell, Russ. A tell. That's a tell. Muttering. What did he that's... have? The guy had ace three four nine. He muttered. He just was. He was disciplining himself. Bad I was. Dutch. I was like. Bad Dutch. I was like. Well, there's twenty four hundred that I didn't need to lose. Yeah. You know, there is. You know, instead of thirteen one, I would have fifteen five. You know, I could have saved myself. Uh, what twenty percent of my stack? You know, eighteen percent of my stack. Instead, I just gave it to the the fish. And when you give the fish chips, then then you're the fish. <laughs> you know. So I was uh, I was a little bit disappointed with that call. Uh, that was one of the big mistakes I made today, not folding aces when there was just a, such a. I think you, you it was actually such a big mistake. You actually started telling me in the car, and I just tuned you out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, bad beat. Okay. Do you yeah. want to eat? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So yeah, I mean that was that was. Yeah. So I wasn't really too happy about that. Oh, it's good to see you again. Uh, Irish Rum 911 in the chat. Good to see you, man. I'm not sure what you're calling me. Uh, blank G. I hope that's good. Oh, <laughs> but great to see you in the chat, Irish Rum. And we've got uh, Dirty Biscuit saying, I wish Michelle had a, a chili dog. I was really low at one point. I came back from break and lost three really big hands in a row. Just uh, lose, lose, lose. Oh, really? And it... like I, I had like the nut, the, the nut low draw, nut flush draw, uh, and then I had the nut low draw with a wheel draw, and then I had like another hand I don't remember, but all three of them just, all three of them went down in flames, and it went from like nine nine thousand to thirty one hundred, and then uh, just yeah, he was battled he back, bad battled back. It was rough. Yeah, you can't when you have bad bad levels like that you can't let it get to you it's just very it's very frustrating because it. i really do feel like um omaha high low i mean you're just so much more a slave to the cards than in no limit hold them you know you don't really need cards in no limit hold them to win but in omaha high low if you don't have the best hand at showdowns at, you know over and over and over i mean it's just so much more luck based these limit events uh, stud high low, but I love them. I love these. Don't get me wrong. I love these events because I feel like I feel like a decent player's edge is way way higher in these events because, I mean, any you know, it, it's pretty hard to not have, you know, to, to have a zero percent chance of winning a no limit hold'em tournament, but it is not hard at all to have a zero percent chance of winning a stud high low or a, or a Omaha high low event. You know, it's like if if you don't understand that you can't start with like a nine showing in stud high low if you don't understand that in raz you can't start with a queen showing and keep on going with the hand after a raise and a re-raise which happens at the world series of poker the world series of poker people don't understand this if you don't understand that you know nine nine seven three rainbow is not a starting hand that you can play in middle position in Omaha high low then you have exactly zero percent chance of winning an Omaha low event but 
in No Limit, it's not really the case. If you think that, you know, 9-3 offsuit or queen-5 suited is, you know, just fine to limp in under the gun, um, you can win a No Limit Hold'em tournament still. Uh, not so in Omaha High Low. So I feel like the edges that, that decent players have over, you know, just just the randos are is way, way higher in these, in these mixed events. And it's kind of nice actually playing an event where all you need to do to cruise into day two is just play tight. I mean, it's, 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 it's refreshing. And I, I played with, I mean, Ron knew, knows what he's doing, but he's also a Hold'em player. You know, Billy Pappas, our buddy Ron, he was way out of line so many times, but then he kind of, you know, tightened up. But, and he knows what he's doing. He's been playing for, you know, the better part of 20 years but uh, I was surprised at how how out of line he would get pre-flop um, who was really good at our table Mike Wattell oh man he, he got a move to our table after we knocked the first guy out who had no business being there and Mike Wattell he is such a beast bracelet winner uh, mixed game player 38 final tables He's really good, and he's really good at all the games. He would do all these moves, like make a real thin uh, value bet on the turn, and then fold when he'd get check raised, you know, for one small bet, because he knew that, like, oh, that's not gonna work. My my ace king is no good here because he's got, you know, he's got me drawn stone cold dead. He just kept on making these really good laydowns and very thin value bets, and then he just couldn't win a showdown. Couldn't win a showdown. Exit stage right. So. Uh, Mad Mike, it's great to see you, man. Great to see you. Maria Ho is still in. She is up there. Mad as I didn't last long. So it's too bad that Maria Ho was in this 1500. I know that she was in that 5K yesterday, so uh, she must not have uh, she must not have made it through. But it looks like she's doing fine in this 08. Saw a lot of cool players today. Mike Leah was in. Uh, Chris Treba, saw him, um, but didn't really play with any 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 uh, you know any tough tough pros except uh, Barry Johnston. And, uh, and Mike Wattell, both of which did not survive to day two. Um, according to this, Ryan Tapin's still in, but that can't be right. No, Ryan's not in. Yeah. I got a picture of Matazal. One. So, let's go for this arena run, you guys. Let's finish it up. Dema uh, demand 258, how much did you bag? 13-1, you guys, 13-1. Uh, Mad Mike says, do you like Sandwich Man? Uh, sure. I like Sandwich Man. I like Hot Dog Man. I like he likes uh, Pizza hot dogs Man. Than sandwiches. <laughs> he likes Pizza Hot, hot Dog Pizza. If I could be any superhero, I'd be Pizza Man. But Sandwich Man would be like a close second. We've got a uh, Hearthstone. Come on, we can do this. Uh, James DeBear, Joe Cotta does not have to unregister. It will do it automatically. As far as you know. Automatically. Yeah, Barry <laughs> Johnston, you'd think he's a nit. He, he kind of is a nit. But he also made this hopeless desperation bluff against two players that ended up costing me a really big pot because uh, he got called by a guy who wouldn't have bet on the turn. So I folded He's my two outer and hit my two outer. I had a pair of twos on a uh, Jack Jack nine like seven I board. I had Ace Deuce honor. Deuce four on a Jack nine nine seven board or a Jack Jack nine seven board. And Barry uh, Barry Johnson decided to just make this hopeless bluff with just a, a missed low that had no uh, had no outs. What do you guys think here? We're gonna go ahead and get rid of the Silver Hand Knight, and I think we're gonna get rid of the Blessing of Kings. We will keep the Knife Juggler. Mate644 says, dude, this is not poker. That is true. That is true. We are you waiting probably, for our uh, redraws. Let's sit on our Hearthstone. I think so, yeah. Let's go ahead. We'll put it on Hearthstone. So people aren't confused. I'm not trying to confuse anybody. Um, we'll go ahead and turn here. Okay. So, I think that we just go with, uh, I think we're going to go with the Stone Splinter Trog first. He's got the coins, so um, 
let's go ahead and pop this up. We'll wait to, to uh, pop out a knife juggler. And we, we have uh, two of those uh, muster, uh, musters in here. So, okay, that's pretty much what we want to see. Now we can go ahead and play our city swamp ooze and turn that, you know, turn what would be, yeah, so that's going to be a really good turn five. We'll pop that out and hit the turn. turn. Mad Mike RX, thank you very much for joining this stream and goodbye. Did Mad Mike say bad things already? Yes, already. Oh, already. Sorry. I wasn't, I was. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so I think that what we do here. That wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. <laughs> that was kind of stupid, though. Oh, so. It, oh, anyways. Yeah. Okay, I think that what we're going to do here is uh, pull out a fairy dragon and make a little man. Think. Is what we're going to do. No, I'm not playing anything. Oh, wait, X Y Dutch. Oh, Dutch is playing day two tomorrow. Just you, but can. Did you, um. Uh, yeah, Toshiba Chan, we're doing day two of the Omaha High Low tomorrow. We made it through with 13,100 chips. Wow. It looks like uh, a little over 300 is still in. I have a I have picture of that, too, of James Woods. Is that how you say that guy's last name? Polychronopolis? Polychronopolis. Yeah, he looked very, uh, he looked like he was European. He looked like he was Italian. I took some pictures. I hope, all right, as everybody knows, it's going to be on Facebook, though. So how does it automatically get unregistered if you bag. I don't understand how they're going to do it too, but you have faith in the system? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I've got faith. I talked to a... Uh... Oh, because you're hurting. I was, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can see people late reg all the time. Come on, hit it. Yeah, that is not what we're trying to do. Okay, so that's okay, though. We're going to go ahead and take this guy out with my face. Right? And take out the spider. No, I can't, huh? So that's that sucks. We probably did that in the wrong order, right? No. No, it was fine. Okay. Let's see now. Pass me that arc light scanner! I'm from India, says congratulations on making it to day two and good luck, take it down. Virginia Ice, hey, what a surprise. I have but I have to go to bed. We're just saying we're just we're just popping in for a little bit, Virginia Ice. I think I'm just gonna mm. pop this taunt down, son I'm gonna pop the sun walker down and then just hit him in the face with everything. Yeah, I think we should you know what, Dutch? I I think that I'm playing Hearthstone though though I think people are more interested in poker right now. Yeah? Yeah. Truth is my shield. My I'm more interested in poker too, but I, mean, I felt like, like, you know what? Because people are like, oh, were like, hey, this isn't sudden... poker. This isn't poker. And I'm like, okay, well, let's go ahead and play the Hearthstone. Wow. <laughs> All right. I don't really oh, feel. Look, look, Gravin says, I'm playing the Professional Amateur Pinball Association PAPA circuit event this week. Good luck. Oh, so awesome. Yeah, you know what? I guess we are going to go ahead and. Quickly. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's go ahead and clear the stairs board. Yeah, maybe we'll do that, you guys. We'll do that, guys. You are right, Michelle. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're we'll change it to a cat. Can you cover your cards? Five, six. Can you get a card, card cover, though? Okay, so this isn't so bad. We'll go ahead and hit him with three. And, uh, I feel like just hitting him with my face. No, it's good. I mean, this is good. Playing Hearthstone, too. I mean, what, it, I guess it depends. For just justice. hit him with my face. But hit it, him with my face. But, and we will <laughs> charge. Corrin, Corrin Flakes. Well, the reason why is because it's, it's kind of hard to focus on the chat and play Hearthstone? No, we'll use that as removal. See, we'll, we'll you're not even listening play... to me. No, I'm sorry, baby. I'm... <laughs> That's exactly why you the should be like, like a small cat game. 
justice shall prevail. He doesn't want to lose this, guys. You guys, for all you guys that are new to Hearthstone, this is like very important this is like an me. arena, and he's doing really well in this arena. So he doesn't want to lose this match. <laughs> but it's probably not a very good idea for him to play this arena because he's no. so focused on the arena and he's looking for Hearthstone Arena advice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So I think after this, I think you should play like a cash game on WSP. But okay, I think you should we'll use a card protector and do it in real time. Why not? Oh, an Archmage, huh? An Archmage. I think that we... Uh, yes, and you need Anaconda too. We need Anaconda, yes. yeah. One, two, three. We can get him down to 14, 12, 9. Oh. Um, I will be there most of the day. I get bored. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and change his attack to one. And then let's not worry about him. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, I, I kind of feel like maybe just play the Blue Gill Warrior. Give the Blue Gill Warrior plus one plus one. And then hit him for... Uh, for justice. Yes. So no, we can't really talk to you right now, guys. So this down. Yeah, sorry. Guys. But I will, I will tell him, James DeBear, <laughs> that it's gonna be <laughs> up there. Sorry, James DeBear. Because <laughs> like, yeah, he can't see anything now. All, all it is is Hearthstone. Yeah. So, yeah. Give me a quest. Okay, questing adventurer. That's a good sign. Is there uh, no? There, nine, there's... ten, eleven. But we'll see what we have. Fourteen. I mean, we've we've got. Uh, Come we're, on, Dutch, kill him. We're pretty close to lethal here. I think that we, I think that we're gonna be able to get them. Three, six, seven. Yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. That's gonna do it. So. Are you done then? Then you Push can. Forward. Then you can focus on the. Last warning. The battle. If you, if you please. If you please. Okay, guys. <laughs> that'll do. That'll do. He said. He done. He done one that. He done did it. He did that for you guys. He won that for you guys. Yeah, we run, we won that for you guys. And now, oh, we just earned, we just finished our quest. That's good news for us. Yay. We're five one, so we'll quit, guys. We'll go ahead and quit this. No, we'll go back dirty, to poker. Uh, dirty, bi uh, dirty biscuits. Dutch doesn't really drink any alcohol at, when he plays. No. But he's he's drank he drank a little drink bit of a, cider. Uh, drink a little angry orchard now. Doing our little wrap up. So. So I guess what do you want to play? Do you want to play play money maybe? No, I don't want to play play money. Let me just see what let me see what's going on on WSP.com. We're probably gonna we're probably gonna call it a day actually, guys. We just kind of came in to say hi, give our uh, give our update, let you guys know that we were thinking about you and that we missed you guys and we made it a day too. That's really the only reason. Yeah, we we just missed you guys. Yeah. So, I think that's going to be it. We're going to go, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for, uh, for tomorrow. And, uh, to Chiba Chan, thank you again for being here. And Adam V23 says, we want a bracelet. Man, I want my fourth bracelet so bad. I've gotten so close in, uh, in non holdem events, but I've never actually closed it. I mean, is I've gotten the, second, Is this the event third, that Alan fourth. got second in? I'm not or really no. sure. Okay. I don't know. But I like our chances. I like our chances. I feel like we are. We have a. We have about. I would say four, maybe five percent of making the final table, and I think that we are at about. Hey, uh, Sinetti. Almost one percent to uh, actually win a bracelet. Sinetti says. Maybe like point seven percent. So hey, Sinetti, it's great to see you, man. It's great to see you, dude. Good luck in your Grand Prix tomorrow. Uh, it was awesome meeting you face to face today. It really was. Okay, guys, I'm gonna, um, that's yeah, gonna be it for us. I'm, I'm really gonna appreciate all you being here. Post and us, on uh, that Facebook page. Just wanted to come in, say say hello, give you the update, and we're gonna shut it down. So, wish us luck tomorrow. I'm gonna be tweeting tomorrow with at Dutch Boyd, and uh, it's gonna yeah, be yeah. And um, tomorrow, I mean, I guess if you guys have any hand histories you want him to look at, yep. I guess have them ready on. So when yeah, you guys if you come guys on, if you guys have like your own hand histories you want to talk about, if you have uh, that'd some, be cool. Yeah, if you would like, that'd be great. Or if, and, you, if, uh, or if you're in this, if you're in Sofa if, King, <laughs> Sofa King tilted. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you. And that Connor dude, great to see you, man. So day two tomorrow, I'm gonna get some sleep. Gonna get ready for this, 
it's going to be awesome. Thank you guys so much for uh, stopping by, saying hi, and for your good luck wishes. We'll, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Too. Say yep. hi, June. June says hello, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're going to... Uh, do you have that battery so you can keep the battery updated so you can do more updates? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll make sure to get that. Okay, I'll see you guys Dutch later. I'll have more poetic updates. Yeah, I'll try, <laughs> to, make it, try to make it a haiku. <laughs> see All you right, guys, guys later. Good night. Thank you for, for stopping by and saying hi.